my sweet, sweet machine freaks. Where is the meat? I mean, the Duramax. Well, a lot has changed since you guys seen me, including my viewership. My viewership is in the toilet right now, but that's okay because I'm really appreciating all the awesome comments and uh, the same amount of likes, so nothing's really affecting me too badly. I think we're going to hit this dip and then go right on up. But I've been renovating this ranch and I've been making a huge mess. This is so bad. Let me clean this up and we'll bring you up to speed on the Duramax. <laughs> Funny, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Dalton, all you did was move the stuff that was here to here. You're absolutely right. Maybe I'm lazy, or maybe HPT. Oh man, sitting in front of a brick wall, just like the old house, like my mom's house. The only thing that's changed is I believe, oh no, I think it was a white wall, maybe it was a red wall. I know it was a red brick garage, where this is a white brick home. Uh, HPT, like I was saying, highest priority task. Whether you know it or not, there's HPT in your life. Some things are just skewed and sometimes your emotions get involved. Sometimes you, you can't think logically. So you get off the beaten path. I moved this stuff over here because we're going to use that tomorrow. So there's no point in me moving that into a nice fine spot because we're literally going to take that whole pile and take it with us to the other Florida property. Uh, something that probably people are thinking that I've given up on. Just like the Jeep, Crush, what other projects have people thought that I've given up on? Yeah, it's not that I've given up, given up on them. Uh, there have been a few things that I've, I've totally disregarded, but that's because uh, something's you know come along and just completely thrown that out of the predicament. The Duramax. Uh, the Duramax kind of fits that same exact thing. HPT. Uh, that's like my big thing right now. It's always been the thing, but I've never really brought it to your attention. The Duramax was getting, well, it was getting high in miles, you guys. And when things get high in miles, things start breaking down. She was a Duramax. She was a wonderful machine. She was a beast. However, even beasts break. 3D Machines was a beast. 2015, 2016, I was a beast, you know. And then 2018, 2019, I fell off it. 2021, we're at crazy low views, but who cares, you know? It's, it's about dips. It's about peaks and troughs, peaks and troughs. We're in a trough. We're going towards the peak. We're going to see it eventually. Uh, just I'm just going to focus on me. And the viewers will follow, okay? We're, we're here to make good entertainment. That's all that matters. So the Duramax, I think, was sitting at about 315,000 miles. And I'm like, you know what? She's getting tired. I don't want to be the one who has to replace something crazy. It, it treated me extremely well. It, it was a phenomenal truck. And I, I wouldn't mind having another one, but not at this exact moment. Maybe a few months down the road, a few years down the road. So... Stay tuned if you want to see uh, 3D Machines have a Duramax or a, you know, a, a diesel powered vehicle in the future. Because I see me needing something larger than a Nissan, what is that, a Rogue? No, a Murano. I have a Murano right now, but that's doing everything that I need right now. And that's kind of my, my grocery getter. Nothing wrong with that. I have to say, if there was a way for the Duramax to go, it was in this way. The best pickup, the best possible pickup situation happened. A guy showed up with an 18-wheeler. This guy meant business. So I had the truck on the market for a few weeks, and then I took it off, and then I put it on, and I took it off, and then I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just use it, or uh, I'll just hold off. And then finally I'm like, you know what, I'll put it on one last time. And that day, the guy called me up and asked me if I would take like $900 less than I was asking. And I said, nah, how am I supposed to do that when I have other offers? So he ended up just pulling the trigger on it, and uh, then he came by and picked it up. My sister was uh, doing the transaction because I was down here in Florida. The truck is up in New York. I don't know if there was some problem with the key or something where it wouldn't open or if the battery was dead. I'm trying to remember. I think it was the battery was dead and I put two brand new batteries in it, but just from lack of use, you know, batteries die. If you don't use it, you lose it. 
So I'm like, will you please, since it's been sitting for three months, will you please record this truck starting up? Uh, I, I want to hear it grunt. I want to hear it make some crazy weird noises because that's what it did. If you let it sit for a long time, the thing would, you know, once in a while it wouldn't uh, fire. It wouldn't, uh, you know, it'd take multiple cranks. Um, so he's like, yeah, sure. So they recorded it and this is what happened. The truck literally started up like I parked it there yesterday. It fired up with no spits and sputters. It cranked like, it was just, it was just a beautiful thing. And that was one thing that was like, oh man, is this really the right move? This thing is bulletproof. Well, the guy already gave me the cash and he was getting ready to load it on the trailer. So luckily Sky recorded a lot of the stuff. I'm like, Sky, I need this documented. One, the truck is super cool that he's picking it up with. Two, she's my baby. I had her for like five or six years. You know, get, get all the, the lasting memories you can. He, he did a, an excellent job. And I am so grateful that somebody with that kind of rig picked up my kind of rig. Max was a good unit. And I hope my story does it justice to see exactly what happened with the Duramax. I still have the Jeep. I still have Crush. I still have my first Florida property. I have this Florida property. The only project that I can think of offhand that I've given up on was the Crush Hauler. And that's strictly because the race series closed. And then I didn't just, you know, throw the trailer out. I gave it to Jason. Jason's making a Jeep hauler out of it. But a better spot to talk about junk than the Crush Carrier. So as you can see, Crush is going through a slight remodeling phase. So that's the only project that I can think of. Projects have just been postponed because of HPT. Uh, you, can't, you can't focus on uh, throwing money or time or energy into something that isn't HPT highest priority task because you don't get ahead that way, folks. Come on now. You could, as, as much as all of us like to sit back with a nice root beer and sit on the couch or outside and enjoy the rays, the vitamin D, you can't do that all the time. You know? But something, if you live in a house, money has to come in so that way you can enjoy the, the life's pleasures. You have to stick with the trends, okay? So, right now, we're renovating this ranch. We're having a good time doing it. This is so bad. We're gonna start doing the other property as well. 3D Machines should have a, a surplus of content for you guys. Uh, it's still Cole and I. I mean, you, you fell in love with me, not necessarily all the things that I have. That's not what this is about. 3D Machines is about the journey about this wonderful journey we call life and how silly it can be and how goofy it can be and how serious it can be sometimes. But you gotta roll with the changes, you know, just like butterflies, just like caterpillars. You know, you have a caterpillar, gets in a chrysalis or a cocoon, whatever the hell you want to call that thing, and then it turns into a butterfly. You're supposed to change. And not every time is the project gonna start from one and go to two and just be done. Very rarely does that happen. I mean, I, I know people that have been sitting on project vehicles for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I'm only, you know, a few years into this thing. I'm only 26 years old, folks. This is a big, long journey. Buckle up. Sit back. Enjoy this journey with 3D Machines. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. I hope you guys enjoyed my Duramax story. It was nice knowing her, but at the same time, we can always get another one. We can always look towards the future. We can always get bigger and better things. It's about growth. It's not about stability or frugality. It's about abundance and thinking abundantly. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out.